Mixing calls to next line with calls to other scanner methods. My name's Kayla Blanton. Real world situation. You are asked to create a program asking users to enter their personal information to create a bank account. The information required is name, date of birth, and social security number. When you run the program, all of the information is displayed correctly except date of birth. Below is an example of a program with this as the output. The problem. When you call one of the scanner class's methods to read a primitive value, such as next int or next double, an error will occur. This is due to the difference in behavior between the next line method and other methods of the scanner class. All scanner methods except next line are designed to skip any initial new line characters. Why it occurs. User entered data is stored in an area of memory called the keyboard buffer. When the user presses the enter key, a new line character designated single quote backslash in single quote is stored in the keyboard buffer. An example of this is shown below, asking the user to enter their social security number and then press enter. The keyboard buffer is the number plus the new line character. When next line is called following a different variable call method, it reads only the new line character. Other scanner methods ignore any preceding white space. Using SSN equals keyboard.nextent, one may enter their social security number after pressing the enter key as many times as they wish. The keyboard buffer will read each press of the enter key as a new line character. These new line characters will be followed by the user enter numerical data, followed by another new line character when the user presses enter. The initial new lines are ignored and the value entered by the user is stored in SSN. The last new line character remains in the keyboard buffer, as shown. The solution. After calling a scanner method other than next line and before calling next line, consume the remaining new line by entering a single keyboard.next line. This will remove the new line character remaining in the keyboard buffer. When the next line method is called again, it will correctly read the user entered data. Based on our real world situation, I have created this program, banktest.java. It is now displaying in JGrasp. Up at the top, I have imported the scanner class in java.util, declared keyboard as my scanner object, declared the string's name and date of birth, and the int SSN for social security number. I have asked the user for their first and last name, and name equals keyboard.nextline because name is a string and next line accepts strings. I have then asked for the user to enter their social security number which is an int, so we use keyboard.next int. And then immediately we ask the user for their date of birth, which is another string, so we use keyboard.next line. And then we use um, system.out.println to display all of the information that the user has entered. So now we'll compile it to make sure it compiles correctly. And it does, so now we'll run the whole thing. As you see, it asks for the name. So Jones Bob, enter. Social security number, 11122244444, enter. And we didn't actually get to see it ask for the date of birth. However, here it says enter your date of birth, um, and we didn't have a chance to enter anything. As you should know from the rest of this video, it didn't ask us to enter anything because it already accepted the next line character, new line character, from the keyboard buffer. So when the information is displayed via system.out.println, there's nothing there for date of birth, it's just a new line. So to fix that, we'll go up here after keyboard.nextint and insert a new keyboard.nextline. Now when we compile it, 
it still compiles correctly. And if we hit run, and ask for a name again, so it's the security number, date of birth, this time we actually have a chance to enter it, so we'll say February 14th, 2011. And here we go, it prints out all of our information correctly. So we have now fixed the problem of um, mixing calls with keyboard.